All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and welcome to some more Knights Chronicle. Taran is here, and in... all right, hold on. It is very quiet because I normally turn music off okay. in my streams. So let's go ahead and go in here and do that now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. So they are celebrating 100 days and these two characters are currently in the game. We're gonna take a look at them. Uh, first things first. Apparently there's a free summon going on. For a guarantee, double SR. Okay, so we got like so many banners right now. I got to do this one first. You guys know I got to get out the crappy summons first. Before this is the double SR. I doubt it, but you know. You can always hope. Nope. Let's see. What did everybody else get? Hmm. I would summon here, but I need those crystals. The reason I say I need those crystals is just because um, the whole event for um, Tarin is going on. And I want to buy back into dungeons. Oh, Nyx! Okay, I've been needing Nyx. That's very helpful. Thank you, actually. Alright, that's all we're going to get for the double SRs. But I'm pretty sure each summon in here is a double SR, so you guys have a guarantee summon that's going on. Alright, most of them are five stars. Thanks, Billy. Jeez. Got a lot of characters I've been needing. So I got more Gana on one of my summons, thank God. Ashley finally gets a banner. No, uh, Murdoch is the only one who hasn't gotten one. And Ellie. We were talking about that in the stream yesterday. Those two who are the only ones who haven't gotten a banner yet. We were talking about Ashley never got a banner until we saw this. Okay. So before I even summon on that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go here. Let's see. So yeah. This is technically an advent character. <laughs> since you have to do a whole bunch of advents just for the character. But I, but yeah, overall overall seriousness here. You gotta farm through like multiple dungeons. Uh, this one should be easy. This one is the one star dungeons. One star advent dungeons, which is pretty straightforward. You know, not all that difficult. Not sure how many they give you. Um, all right, it seems like they give you ten for everyone. So I'm pretty sure this character is gonna be like all the other Athens gonna be 150 just to create. So that's straight up 70. Nope, that's 80 actually. Wait, no, that's not 80. What? What is my math? <laughs> Seven, eight. What? Oh, never mind. I'm. I am right. It is eight. <laughs> no one's over here. Are gonna be fine. Well, it's, that's a major drop. Jeez. What's the middle? Oh, they're making us do every last single one of them. <laughs> yeah, some people won't be able to get these. Depending on where you are. And the numbers randomly go back up. So this last one is obviously the... Um, the four star dungeons. So you got a lot of grinding to do. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a Cali dungeon. I'm only going to be buying back into Teo dungeon. So yeah, that's going to limit me. But I don't know why they did it on Cali's. Like, dude, you're doing it on Cali's week? I would have said that Sinclair. And Kristen or something, but Callie? 
Like, come on now. That's going to hurt. A lot of players. Uh, hold on. Let me come in here. There she is. Okay, no. It's 120. That's what it was. I thought it was like 150. So you can actually get her pretty fast off the first two event pages. Okay. This event does last for 30 days, apparently. Or it could be shorter. I'm not really sure because the last one... We all thought it was going to be way longer, but it wasn't. Alright, probably in the Arnables. And... One person is. Where is... Oh, Shadow Guild. There he is. Alright, so let's look at the skin... Yeah, obviously this is going to be better. Let's see, what's the leader? Increased crit chance to dark units. Okay, nice. 30%. Alright, first skill. Oh, attacks one target and defense in doors. Has a chance of inflicting additional damage on targets that are debuffed. Okay. Nice. To be honest, I've been looking for another, you know, defense Sonora character. That's going to be very dangerous. Janice is going to be like a high priority to kill because he's going to be killing tanks and pretty much a lot of other things. He's basically like an evil version of Cynthia. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was not trying to click on that. All right, skill two penetration damage to one target and has a chance to apply madness so you won't be able to control your character if this madness is applied guys so madness stuns the target and inflicts damage if the target went removed so yeah when this runs out they'll get stunned you can bring it up to three but I'm actually not sure does it madness Huh. I was going to say, doesn't Madness um, increase your multi-strike and your counter chance? But I'm I'm pretty sure this is different, more than likely. Why am I thinking this is like Morgana? Where if Rue is around, she'll remove like, the debuff effect of not being able to control your character. I'm pretty sure Madness is its own thing and can be completely removed. And not only the control effect. Let's, let's just hope on that. Alright. Third skill inflicts damage to one target. And inflicts 70% more damage when it's attacking support. So. Yeah. A lot of people are going to be dying. <laughs> Which is good because. Teaming this character up with River Dandy. Especially with all the. You know, unable to revive debuffs everywhere is going to be fantastic. Let's see how much damage you get in. 100% additional damage. Yeah, supports are getting one-shotted for sure. But he doesn't have any defense nor on this, so... Yeah, we should be a little bit safe. A little bit. Anywho. <laughs> now we go into the bread and butter, the passive. Wow, it's just literally called die. <laughs> Evil. All right, 100% chance to send the caster into the telekinesis rage for two turns upon the upon an ally's death. Okay, so you would definitely want to kill him before he gets like some really dangerous buffs. And the really dangerous buffs are telekinesis rage inc increases the caster's damage dealt by 80% and decreases the damage taken by 50%. Okay, yeah. So you want to kill this character first, naturally. You probably want to kill him first, either way it goes, because he's just going to be doing like a massive amount of damage. He's basically just a straight-up nuke from his uh, skills. Alright, his level 60. Chance to activate Telekinesis Rage when the caster's buff is removed. Huh. Or when the... Oh, okay, hold on. 
I just read ahead a little bit. When a caster's buff is removed or when a caster skips a turn due to immobility. So if you stun this kid, you're basically just asking for something terrible to happen. Oh, PvP is going to be dangerous with this character around for sure. This character can actually do some pretty interesting things. But he definitely needs his level 60 to shine. So any character that like CCs, you would have to be careful with. 50% chance to cast Madness on three targets for one turn when the caster defeats an enemy. Oh. Okay. So pretty much the next turn, those are gonna be get, they're gonna be getting stunned. That's not half bad. I actually like that. All right, let's. Okay, yep. First time lag startup. We're gonna have to be doing everything twice. All right, let's go into this. Oh. Okay, that actually looks pretty dope. I would rather see a battle between him and um, Esna, for sure. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's go look at my um, insane girl down here. Ah, I think I like... Um... Well, since my favorite color is green, I would definitely go with this. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at what you got. Leader, multi-strike. Oh, that's going to be nice with Teo. Waters get multi-strike increased by 30. Not half bad. I'm definitely building that. Just because that's definitely going to help out. I'm going to build her either way, so. Kind of weird that they chose to do this character this way. Instead of giving her an actual dungeon right now. But... Yeah, she's a future advent, I'm pretty sure. A future four-star advent, I think. Or maybe they'll just keep her like this. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll find out. Alright, first skill. I just noticed it said Stalking Stinger down here. Uh, well, we already... Hmm, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to see if it shows us the little stalking thing. Pretty sure she's a stalker. But, first skill, inflicts damage to one target, has a chance to decrease your third skill by one turn if the target has Twisted Love. Oh my. Um, so she's one of those insane characters that will probably kidnap you and torture you just for the love. Yeah, I've watched too much anime, especially when it has all that stuff in it. <laughs> Anywho. Has a 60% chance when maxed. Uh, let's see. Second skill inflicts damage to one target. And has a 50% chance of stun for one turn. Applies Switzerland Love for three turns. Okay. Twisted Love affects one enemy at a time. So you can't just like, hey, I'm going to put it on your whole party and just abuse you. Considering that she's more of a stalking character from what it seems, of course it would only go for one because she would have like a love addiction to that one character. So I can kind of see why they did that. Just for, you know, more realism somewhat. Alright, let's see. Does it go up? Okay, yeah. The stun does go up and turn when it's fully maxed. And that's pretty much it. This is actually on a pretty low cooldown. Alright, third skill inflicts damage to one target. Disables. Chance to disable for five turns? What? Oh, if it fails to kill the target. I'm interested to know what disable is. Disable drastically decreases the target's attack speed. Oh. Ally and enemy turns are counted towards the uh, duration. That's not a half bad. 
Especially if there's somebody who's very, very troublesome in their terms. Like, you could just say, screw Morgana, and just drop her all the way to the back if you wanted to. We're not sure if this is going to work on bosses, though. I'm pretty sure it's not going to, but then again, you never know. Because this technically isn't, like, a stun or anything like that. It's basically decreasing turns, and decreasing turns actually works on bosses from Chesser. I'm pretty sure it works on Chesser. Don't don't quote me on that one. All right, when fully maxed out, you get at 85%. So obviously, I would max out this if anything. Twisted Love is already pretty much really decent because it only stays for like three turns, so that's just fine. I the stun is all right. I wouldn't build into it for like like right away. I'll probably build into this. As fast as possible, especially since my one is playing off of that three. All right, here we go to the next ones. Has a chance to remove taunt from the oh. So this character can't be taunted. Okay. At the, every start of the turn, she gets taunt removed. So for any character that's been very, very troublesome to you. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, the reason she removes Taunt is just because she's already in love with another target, so she's going to completely ignore the guy who is ever, you know, trying to get her attention, you know? And that that's actually... Yeah, you're the only one for me. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to go down that route of detail, but all right. All right, what else does their passive do? Decreases the caster's damage taken by 40% for three turns when the caster applies Twisted Love to an enemy. Oh, resets the cooldown for her skill two when the caster kills an enemy afflicted with Twisted Love. Yoki dokie. Yeah, totally, totally not painful to deal with. All right, what is her level 60? 80% chance to recast Twisted Love on the on the enemy. Affected by Twisted Love for three turns when attacked by that enemy. Oh. You know it would be real messed up? If you put taunt runes on this character and abuse the hell out of this, but then again, that's not like high risk, high reward at that point for this character if you do build Taunt on it. Increases the damage by 80% if the target has Twisted Love. Okay. I can definitely say this is a character worth going for, for sure. Um, it's just going to be really, really troublesome for like newer players, for sure. So yeah, that's going to be a thing. But we have... Plenty of days to get through all of this, to be honest. You pretty much have like a whole 30 days. As long as you're doing like 9 advents every every day. Or 6 advents every day. Um, well, you can pretty much just buy in 9 times into each dungeon. And you can get that done way quicker. Or you can take down the slower route. And if there's a dungeon you can't really do, Kali. Um, you could just go ahead and just focus on Teo and just be like, hey, Teo, thanks. Thanks for helping me out. Thanks for carrying me, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be definitely doing Teos, but I don't think I'm going to get there on a first day, considering that you have to do hard and hell and nightmare first. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get into like the four stars on the whole event thing right now. So, yeah, that's kind of troublesome. Which does suck. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at your skills and see what's up. Oh, that face. We're getting a lot of insane characters lately. First Etika, now this character. Seems like a pretty running theme. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yep, this is exactly how I thought it was going to be. The stalker is definitely in this one. <laughs> So, yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting character. So, I'm not going to summon on this banner, just because, like I said, I need my crystals for this week. 
definitely for buying back into Teo and stuff like that. Is there anything new in here? Let's go see. So we don't have anything times. All we have are advents half off. And they also slight increase in drop rate. You know it's not like a huge increase. Don't, don't even lie. Don't let them lie to you like that. You know it's not a huge increase. Um, multiplayer events don't count towards the event page. It has to be single player. You can't have people carrying you through the multiplays because I'll just even show you guys proof that it's like that. Oh, well. See, single player, single player. All of them are single player. None of them are multi. You won't find any multi ones. They want you to carry yourself through all these dungeons. Which a lot of us can do, but at the same time, you'll get to a certain point where you're going to start dropping off. But from these five pages, well, six pages, Jesus. Um, Hell is SRs. It is literally SR dungeons. Then we get to seven through nine. Those are the four star advents. So you'll get the character if you can go up to SRs for sure. Nightmares stop right here. Nightmare is two star dungeons. So hard and nightmare, newer players will be able to do. Hill and up, you guys might have a few issues there. The only reason I'm not gonna summon for um, is because um, and eh, PVP. He's yeah, he's more PVP focused than PVE. You know, it'd be nice to have him, but yeah, I'm not gonna like work on him right away because I'm already working on other things so he's not really a priority for me I'll get him next time he comes back it's just that it's not gonna be now you know I wonder is there anything else in here I don't think there is okay yeah I already finished that stuff but yeah guys that's pretty much it I was hoping to bring up that um, first time login screen again so I can see the banners and stuff. But yeah, they still haven't addressed costumes or anything like that. So, yeah. Eh. Oh well. But I will see you guys next time on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.